Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to go over a subject that I think is very relevant at the moment since the seasons are changing. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, like I am, the cold season is upon us. And it's really easy when it starts getting a little bit chilly to just crawl into our little balls of comfort and add layers, add, 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 and you end up looking like a hobo. We don't do hobo on this channel, we do chic, polished, elegant. So today I'm going to share with you a few tips, tricks, style inspiration, even demonstrations on how to layer without bulk. And I think there are a few rules that do make sense when you're thinking about layering. Number one, creating a thermal base. When I lived in Brazil, it was hot all of the time. I thought it was an exaggeration when people told me they had layers of clothes under their clothes. Well, it's a necessity. I personally don't feel a lot of cold all of the time, so I will usually opt for something like this. This is from Intimissimi. It's a little bit more decorative. It has the V-neck with the lace, but I also have this in more basic kind of crew neck style. You will always find me wearing these under all of my clothes during winter. It's great because it keeps your temperature. It has a little bit of wool in it. So really giving you that sort of toasty feel. It's fine enough that it looks discreet, but it'll also be a bit of that smoothing layer. If you're wearing, for instance, now a more knit dress, maybe you have white pants and you need that layer to sort of cover things up a little bit. It's a great practice to add to your wardrobe. And finally, the great benefit of having a base layer is that you don't have to wash your clothes as often. Given that this will be in direct contact with your skin, this is what's going into the wash at the end of the day and then you can rewear that sweater, you can rewear that jacket without fear of it being, you know, grummy and having to go to the laundry. Second thing that is a given are materials. You will need good wool, good cashmere, merino, leather. These things will keep you warm. It's not an exaggeration. I find a lot of people will just bulk up with many synthetic materials and will still be freezing cold. Whereas if they were just to add a very good, high quality wool sweater under all of that mess, they wouldn't really need as many layers. Case in point is this little cardigan. I bought this from another stories a long time ago. If I can find it somewhere, I'll link it down below. But just to give you an idea, it is 100% wool, but it is a very simple cardigan, short sleeved cardigan, but I cannot tell you how many times I threw this over a long sleeve shirt. I threw this even when I'm home and it gets a little bit chilly, immediately you feel toasty. So in these moments, you have have got to think practically. Do you need 10 different acrylic sweaters or is it just enough to have two or three in a very good material? Next tip is to accessorize. Now, if I got money every time I tell you to accessorize, I would be a millionaire because accessorizing is such a great strategy, especially during winter time when everybody's a little bit more drabby, darker colors, a lot of unshapely people moving around the city. Everybody looks kind of the same. So if you don't add that accessory, that decorative element of personality, it will just blend into that boring crowd. And we don't want that. We want to express ourselves, show that we're making the effort to look stylish. So be that through the addition of jewelry, be that through how you style your hair, maybe a nice bag, maybe your choice of footwear your scarves, your belts, all of those finishing touches that will kind of take your look from boring to interesting with just the addition of one piece. And finally, I think that especially during winter when we have a lot to consider when we're dressing up is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a classic trick of styling and of art in general. Basically, we as humans find it very pleasing when we see proportions of three parts, be it in the construction of a building, be it in the look that you're wearing. So when you look in the mirror and you feel like something's not right, maybe it looks a bit like an unshapely mess, maybe 
just try and play around with maybe tucking something in, maybe throwing on a belt, perhaps going for knee-high boots, maybe changing a little bit the shape of a leg. I will try and add a little bit of a scheme that I found on Pinterest that I think really helps. But just keeping that in mind, doing those little adjustments in the front of the mirror might help with making you layered up but not weird. Moving on to the style demonstration part of the video, I would like to start with a look that has been very requested by you guys. I talk about ponchos and wraps all of the time. I love the effect that they give, but it might seem a little daunting on how to style them, especially when you're layering things. It might look like you're just throwing on a cover over all of the mess that you've made underneath. In this case, I started with a cardigan. This is from Asimov duty in a beautiful shade of green which is also a great tip during winter time don't be afraid to play a little bit with color I'm not saying go all out with crazy neons and weird kind of bright shades that don't make sense in a wintery context but try and add a little bit of color i think that gives a bit of brightness and happiness to your everyday life you cannot wear all black all of the time then with the cardigan i paired these trousers very basic kind of in this grayish beige that is a neutral but again it's not a black it's not a navy it's a little bit brighter and you will understand why in a second i then add a scarf the scarf has the same color sorry as the other pieces so you have a little bit of the green from the cardigan you also have a little bit of the beige from the pants so it looks cohesive then i'm adding some ankle boots these i love because one again not black they're more of a brownish shade which will kind of tie up really nicely with the poncho that we'll add. It also has a little bit of height, so whenever you feel like you're dressing too casually, too much abandon in your styling during the winter months, add a little bit of heel. This is not too much, it's very comfortable, I can walk in these boots all day long, but it still feels a little bit more elevated, quite literally than just walking around in sneakers or flats. And then we'll add our poncho. This one is very similar to one that I had from COS and I think they still made it this season. So if you want something similar, I'll link it down below along with other pieces that are similar to what I'm showing you. I love the chocolatey brown of this piece. It's so rich, so luxurious. It is made of pure wool so it's very warm even though it has openings it keeps you really warm and again i'm wearing those base layers i'm covering my feet i have my cardigan which is in a wool cashmere blend so i'm really keeping warm with not a lot of pieces and i just love how the details of this look is what makes it styled so the scarf when you're closing your poncho you leave it out and it already sort of ties things together when you get a glimpse of the color of the sweater underneath the poncho like around the sleeves the brown from the boots is sort of reminiscing from the brown of the poncho so again everything is coordinated you have those points that are separate but they still make you look like you are making sense it's an outfit that looks dressed up but not exaggerated i feel that if you were to pair this maybe with wide leg pants maybe a taller heel maybe if you wanted to add some some faux fur or a more evident kind of scarf you could take this into a very more high-end kind of refined alternative but this one i think is totally appropriate for day to day and i just love a poncho you guys know that i should tattoo it on my forehead Next look, and this I think is a great tip, if you want to wear some voluminous coat, start with an all black base. Now I just said in my previous point that you should not wear all black all the time, but in this case it's not going to be all black. You'll see in a second. I went for a knit top and some really basic kind of straight leg trousers. Also important to point out, the high waist of the trousers will give you some silhouette. The top has a higher neck and it is an elbow length top. So I think it is very automatic for us to just want to throw on a lot of length, like cover every inch of your body. But I don't like feeling constricted 
undercoats. So I'll go for something that is a little bit shorter on the sleeves and then I'll compensate with a few other elements. Then we add our coat. Now, this is why I think it's okay to play around with a black base because the coat has color. So you're not going to just be a smudge of darkness. You are counterbalancing things a little bit, keeping a bit more of a uniformity underneath and adding the color aspect of your look with your outerwear. Then since my coat is kind of a pea coat, sort of trapeze car coat, I love to make it a bit more like a preppy look. So I'll just add some loafers, but you could also pair this with some boots. You could pair this even with sneakers if you'd like to. It allows you to do that because the trousers are very basic and very easy to style. And then to keep sort of that collegiate vibe going, I add a little beret. Also add a scarf in sort of the same brownish tones as the coat and the beret. So everything kind of talks with each other everything makes sense together and I will also add some gloves. And there you are, a finished look that looks thought out, that looks planned, that doesn't look thrown on. I think this is a great example of how accessories can totally improve a look. And you could also add some variation. So instead of a wool coat like what I'm wearing now, you could throw on maybe a puffier coat, something even more voluminous. You will see that still, if you keep those color families together, if you still try to rationalize what are the things that you're throwing into this look, it makes sense. You could pair this with a classic trench coat as well when the seasons start to warm up. You could pair this with a blazer. It's a very, very easy trick. And speaking of puffier coats, I wanted to show you a look wearing a gilet kind of down vest because I think that this can be such a easy piece to get wrong and many people think that you cannot dress this in a way that it looks beautiful and looks elegant, but you can. Color here is key. So I would avoid going for those neon kind of more technical outdoorsy colors and I would opt for neutrals. I'm beginning the look with this brown turtleneck. It is in a finer fabric, a little bit closer to the body. So again, you're not adding volume, you're just adding a fine yet warm layer paired with some light color, kind of wide legged pants. These are more tailored, which I also think is a great tip. If you're going to add something that looks more technical, more casual, Pairing it with a piece that is a bit better cut, a bit more sartorial, will elevate the overall look. Then we add our vest. You will see that the puffer kind of gilet is in a similar shade of chocolate brown to the turtleneck, so there it already pairs really well. The length of the gilet is around my hips, so I think it's important that the trousers that you're wearing are high-waisted. This way you kind of get a bit of of a more balanced silhouette. And you're keeping that third visible. So remember when I talked about the rule of thirds, if I were to close the vest, it would sort of cut me in half. But leaving it open, you can still see that the higher waist is elongating my legs, creating a little bit more length on the bottom part of my body. And then the brown part with the turtleneck is the other third. So balancing things out a little bit. To further highlight that waist, I always like to add a belt. And in this case, it is a sort of crocodile effect belt that adds a bit of a luxurious element to the whole styling. It's also a decorative touch, a little bit of an attention grabber. So giving that detail to the look. Here, given that I already have a bit of length with the trousers, you don't necessarily need to add a heel. I could have totally gone for those ankle boots with a bit of heel that I showed you in the first look. But in this case, I opted for a very unusual piece in my wardrobe. I went with some sneakers, white sneakers in a very similar shade to the trousers so that you keep that line going. So even though I am not adding height, 
it looks proportional and it looks elongated because it's the same shade. So you end up with a very cool looking kind of laid back but still constructed sort of final result. But if you think that this is a little too cold for you, maybe you need to add a layer. Here I am adding a knit polo and I love the result of this because you get a little bit of a glimpse of the brown underneath. So even though you're basically wearing all white, which I think is so chic for the winter. You still have a bit of contrast with the layers that are underneath, with the belt that you're wearing. So you still look interesting, kind of gives a more contemporary vibe to the whole thing. And then you can add your layer with the gilet and with those points of color being coordinated, you have yourself a very nice look. And final look, and I have to say this is my favorite. I don't like to play favorites with my looks, but when it gets glamorous, you guys know I can't resist it. To me, this is the perfect outfit if you want to, for instance, go out to dinner, you want to feel warm, but feel that adding maybe a parka or a big coat is out of context, which I would say it is. We start with a mock neck knit. This is in a wool, so again, even though it has shorter sleeves, if you're going to dinner and maybe you're going to drink some wine, maybe you're going to get a little bit warmer, you don't want to have a bulky sweater, so I think it's a good choice. I paired this with an A-line black midi skirt. You guys know how I feel about pleated midi skirts, I think they are a total must in your wardrobe, and in this case, as always, it works in our favor. I also have some tights on just to keep my legs covered, so even though I'm wearing a skirt, I still feel protected and warm, but to further warm up my legs, I am adding some knee-high boots. These are favorites of you guys, you always ask me about them. I got them at Mango maybe three years ago. I don't think they have it anymore, but it's a very trendy piece right now, so you will find it. I know Steve Madden has it. If you want a higher quality, there is a brand called Paris, Texas that makes amazing knee-high boots. And then we're adding a sort of niche piece. I have talked about this in the past. I don't remember when about how I love me some elbow length leather gloves for winter. It adds such a glamorous feel. I love how whenever you're wearing something that has a more cropped sleeve, it will cover your arm, so it's practical in a sense, but the fact that it is leather makes it look so much more chic and sophisticated than if you were to add like a longer sleeve underneath. In this case, I'm adding a little wool jacket that has those cropped sleeves, and I think it is such a great complement to that. It sort of will add contrast because you're pairing beige with the black, but it looks cohesive somehow. Important to point out that the jacket and the top are in the same color family, so kind of a running theme on this video. Again, with the rule of thirds, now could we leave the jacket as is? Sure, but if we want to make it a bit more harmonious with the silhouette, I am adding a belt. I feel like people don't do this often, but whenever you feel like something is too long around the hip area and you need to create some interest, kind of play around with those proportions, add a belt, see what happens. In this case, I find that it looks kind of Christian Dior in the 50s. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's that type of silhouette. You're covering your hips with your top, but the fact that you're adding a belt makes things go well together. And we don't have enough glamour just with the opera gloves. We need some faux fur because, you know, if you're going down the rabbit hole, just throw yourself into it. This is a stole that I got from Zara. It looks legit. I mean, if you touch it, it does not feel like mink. But if you feel kind of queasy about buying fur, if you think that it is something that you don't want in your wardrobe, this is a great little solution. If you don't like the look of fur or if it's something you don't want to promote for some reason, you can also add a beautiful, maybe pashmina, perhaps a more voluminous cashmere scarf in those kind of brownish, kind of neutral tones. It will work just as well. But what I love about a full first toll, if it's done correctly, if it looks good, it's just kind of are you in the first class of the Titanic? Yes, you are, come this way. You can wear it kind of classically around your neck. It almost looks integrated with the neckline of the jacket. You can wear it open for to expose a little bit more of the front of the outfit. 
or you can do a whole 30s movie star and throw it over your shoulder. It just adds to your self-confidence and you walk around feeling like Greta Garbo living your best life going to dinner. And I think that the addition of the belt is great because when you get to your destination, you can add the belt to your look. So it's not just hanging over your chair or stuck into your bag. It still makes sense with your base pieces. This is it, everyone. These are my tips on how to layer for fall winter. I do think that these tips cater to a not so cold climate, but honestly, if it is so, so cold, you just throw on a very hard duty parka or a coat and you keep warm. And then when you get to your destination, you leave it in the car or you hang it up and you still look presentable underneath. But what I don't want is for us to always be wearing sweaters, sweatpants, sneakers, those bobble hat. I mean, we can do better, can't we? Yes, we can. Let me know down in the comments if you have any tips about layering, about keeping warm in the colder months without compromising style. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see each other again next time. Bye!